The Curse of Sam Hain, written by Jacob Francis Keller. Fade in. An ink-dipped quill dances across parchment. The thick Irish brogue of Bellinus O'Flynn, 30s, breaks in. No one remembers the first day he came into to this world, but for too long we have feared the darkness he has brought upon us. Exterior woods. A rider races through wind and lightning at full gallop, torch in one hand, reins in the other, branches whip past, screeching and snarling of God only knows what nips at his heels. Back to Quill. And the monster that has covered our lands in death and disease. Back to Rider. Boots jab at the steed's belly. Speed increases. Howling and moaning get even closer. Living shadows reach out. Interior Cottage. Bellinus, handsome, bearded, broad-shouldered, continues scribbling by the light of the fire as his wife and three small children play nearby. Tonight it all ends. If we cannot kill the beast, then we shall imprison for all time. He closes the leather-bound notebook and scoops up his youngest daughter tugging at his pant leg. Please don't go, Papa. Stay here. She fiddles with the buttons on his shirt, never looks up. I won't be gone long. Promise? He grips her tightly and kisses the top of her head. The black soul without a tail comes. Bellinus puts her down and springs for the door. Interior, exterior, cottage. The rider dismounts, still carrying his torch. He comes tonight. Bellinus grabs his journal and tucks it away. Get to the church. I'll join you when this is all over. He takes a step closer and whispers in her ear. Stay in the light. Never leave the light. Did you think you made it a fool? Bellinus cracks a smirk. No, you did. Exterior stable moments later. Bellinus wrangles his horse. I shall gather Lemuria. Without the sword? What if the witch's words prove false? Bellinus mounts up. Then we shall have nothing more to fear, for we will surely all be dead. He grins and then takes off at full gallop. Hill. Above the crest, dozens of bonfires dot the dark countryside. Super. Lismore, Ireland. Super. October 31st, 1699. Exterior, field, night. Dark and eerily calm. Carefully thatched pyres mark out a large open circle, with a dozen men laying in wait just out of sight. Near pyre. A man loads and cocks a musket. His friend looks at him. What do you think that's going to do? Makes me feel better. Offers flask. How's does this? They both take a swig. Center of circle. Bellina strides out to the center of the trap and opens his journal. Wind jostles the pages. We call out the master of shadows, the lord of the dead, the king of Hallow's Eve, Sam Hain. A heavy rumble ripples slowly for what seems like an eternity. The blustery wind and creaking trees are the only sounds in the darkness. Each man holds his breath, eyes wide trying to peer out into the black nothingness around them. Bellinus tightens his fists. The weight is unbearable. Then, moaning. A dark fog creeps in, snaking and winding around Bellinus. Who dares call my name? I'm Bellinus O'Flynn, bellwether of the Lemuria, here to send you back to hell! His breath draws out in wispy white clouds. A frost settles all around them. He lowers his gaze to his feet. Bugs and worms crawl from the soil to flee the approaching death. From the darkness, Sam Hain becomes corporeal, ashen white skin, black lidless eyes, missing nose, evil incarnate. So foolish! A few men stand to run. Hold! Hain moves closer. Come to me and perish. Closer still. Hold! Hain lifts his hand. Bellinus grips his neck as his feet leave the ground. Journal falls to the ground. Legs kick. Now! Near pyres, each man strikes a flintstone. Kindling set ablaze. Fires roar in mere seconds. Back to Bellinus. 
Hain drops him. Sam Hain recoils from the warm orange glow of the fires. Shadows attempt to protect him from the light. Men start chanting. Bellinus crawls to his journal and finds the correct page. Your time in this world has come to an end. Even Havlach, Belo, Sawin! The shadows that surround him collect and sublimate into a solid structure. Black ice creeps upwards from his feet. No! This is not my time! Curse you, O Flynn! A curse on you and the blood of your kin until my return! Bellinus gets to his feet as the last of the black ice forms a perfect block around the demon, imprisoning him. The storm dies and the sky is clear. Moonlight reveals the landscape around them as the other men venture out. Bury it. Series of shots. A large pit is dug. Ropes strain as men pull. The block falls into the pit. Something inside squirms and the men jump back. The block is slowly covered, one shovelful at a time. On this spot we build a stone monument, a warning to anyone that may disturb this tomb, and it must lay buried until the end of time. Cut to black.